the Anderson Power Products 1387G1 and 1387G2 pneumatic crimp tools are manufactured for Anderson by Pico Tools. These tools accept a broad range of four indent dies and matching locators that are specifically designed to crimp Anderson Power Products contacts. To select the appropriate die and locator for crimping any Anderson contact, simply visit our website at www.andersonpower.com and view the pneumatic tooling chart. To set up your Pico tool for operation in the shop, connect the tool to an air supply with a nominal air pressure of 80 psi as recommended in the Pico service manual. The service manual is also available online at picotools.com. To set up the tool for use, insert the appropriate locator for each contact. It's important to line up the notch that's on the locator with the locator pin that's located on the groove of the face of the tool. Insert the locator aligned so that it's flush with the face of the tool. Next take the die and align the die with the pin on the face of the tool with the drilled hole in the back of the die. Press the die firmly up against the face of the tool. Insert the tool cover and screw on until it's snug. So we're now ready to crimp. We've set up the proper die and locator uh, for this specific contact that we're trying to crimp. And our next uh, step is to prepare the wire. You can either uh, use either a specific wire stripping tool or uh, a utility knife to strip the wire. Using the wire stripping tool, just turn it like so, completely around. And now we've removed the jacket. You can see that none of the conductors of the cable are damaged. The next step is to clean it. You can either use a wire brush or a scotch bright pad. This removes oxidization from the copper in the cable. So with the cable now properly cleaned, I'm going to insert the cable into the contact. going to insert the contact until it bottoms out in the locator. Use caution not to press forward too far. The spring action in the locator is designed to absorb the motion of the contact expanding while it's being crimped. Actuate the tool by pressing the lever all the way down and then release. Inspect the contact to ensure that it's evenly crimped and there's no cracking. For some of our larger contacts, we use a double locator. The locator has two positions to provide two separate crimps onto the contact crimp barrel. The double locator works in such a fashion that when it's pressed forward, tension is felt and then when it's pressed forward even a little bit further, the tension increases much more. For the first crimp location, the contact should only be pressed forward until that first level of tension is felt. If you press further and bottom it out, the crimp uh, barrel can distort when the contact is crimped due to lack of expansion room in the locator.
release backwards until there's no tension and then crimp one more time for the second crimp location. Now that you have your initial contact you've crimped with the recommended die and locator, using a point micrometer measure the depth of each crimp and record these and save these for comparison against future crimps. This will help ensure that the tool is kept in calibration. Measure both indents in each crimp and measure both axes of the crimp.